Environmentalists might feel threatened by a big guy like Kurt Bellick wielding his chainsaw to carve up beautiful trees. Bellick isn't a logger, but a recycling innovator. We intercept it from the dump. Um, we get it uh, before the arborists grind it up, take it to the dump. Kurt and his wife Melody have found a unique way to recycle old dead trees into valuable living art. How did you get the idea to start doing this? I had wood. And I was burning it. And uh, the wood that I was burning was so incredibly gorgeous, I couldn't do it anymore. So after the second piece, I started trying to figure out what to do with the wood. And I talked to other woodworkers, turners, and nobody wanted the wood because it wasn't cured. You get set in the back room for a year. So Melody and I went to Oregon and visited my uncle, who was a shop teacher forever. He gave us a lesson and I came home and I built three lathes and started turning. I don't think I've stopped. If I've been home, I've been turning every day. Because it's, uh, it's addicting, which is a problem. <laughs> I was an emergency department nurse. But she has a minor in music. I do. I play music my whole life. So I obviously have that creative side of my brain. Just yeah, it takes you a while to refine your, yes. your style. It's it's continuing to be refined. Every every piece she does. Once Kurt has completed the turning process, he passes his bowls onto his wife Melody, who allows the grain, cracks, and the unique features of the wood to speak to her in providing the artistic finishes. Melody's palette for her pieces are mica, quartz, molybdenite, and a huge variety of colorful rocks and minerals that she inlays into her carvings. After some more sanding, the pieces get 12 coats of tongue oil. That is a gorgeous piece. I love that tree. That tree. With a large inventory of bowls, Kurt and Melody head up to Park City for the art festival. Here there are artists from all over the United States. The Park City Art Festival has become renowned for attracting some of the most talented and capable artists in the country. Kurt and Melody have a great festival in Park City where they sell many of their spectacular bowls. For the Bellics though, it's obvious the festivals are fun, but there's no place like home. Whether they're in their workshop, or in the backyard with their chickens, they've realized the dream of having a hobby and a passion that is also their profession.